Today's video is brought to you by TacoRack.com, America's only taco cookware. Click the link below, TacoRack.com. So Vice President Joe Biden drops a bomb over the weekend, uses the term New World Order to describe his allegiance to the Illuminati and his allegiance to the occult and Satan and all that is evil and wrong with our system today. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Now, the mainstream media is getting this wrong, saying it's igniting conspiracy theorists and it's igniting, uh, you know, people like Alex Jones and, you know, all these characters on uh, television, including myself, that somehow we're looking too far into the fact that Joe Biden used the term NWO, New World Order. Now, remember, this was first popularized when George W. Bush used it to describe the collapse of Russia. This was used by people like Winston Churchill. Uh, televangelists have used it. Uh, there was a famous one that dropped a book on it uh, several decades ago that popularized the term. But what people need to understand is as a politician, as a public figure, you don't say something like that without understanding and fully knowing the consequences of that term. Now keep in mind the speech that Joe Biden was giving in Washington DC was very lightly scripted. In fact, that was my first question. Was he reading a teleprompter? He wasn't. It was a very light script. Uh, and he was reading a document in front of him before he broke and used the term NWO, New World Order, during an import-export trade conference in Washington, D.C. You know, this is kind of like using or describing somebody as being Hitler-like or using the term Nazi. Now, if you don't understand what that means and you use that term, well, then you're a friggin' idiot. And if you do understand what it means, then it obviously holds significance which is the same reason Joe Biden used, used it a few days ago. And it's the same reason we see politicians use these terms from time to time as they're signaling to their brethren, they're signaling their allegiance to Satan, to the Illuminati, to the occult, that this is the program, that they are working for the NWO. It's funny, I don't even see this stuff as conspiracy theory anymore. Um, I personally don't even consider myself a conspiracy theorist. I just consider it to be the truth. For example, I don't think it's a conspiracy that the federal government had and played a significant role in the terrorist attacks that hit 9-11 and that dropped three buildings in New York City and supposedly incinerated a plane at the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. I do not find that a conspiracy theory. I find that to be true. I do not find it a conspiracy theory that the 2008 financial crash was an inside job. I just consider that to be fact. After all, I was there watching the nation on fire live in front of three, four, five computer screens when it was happening. I watched the hedge funds feed off the dead carcass of the big banks before George Bush came on television, scared the crap out of everybody around the world, and then orchestrated the largest bailout that we'd ever seen in the history of man. So that the big banks profited not just from the crash and by destroying capitalism and raping and pillaging the American public. That's not a conspiracy theory, in my opinion. That's just fact. What also has me nervy, what also has me concerned and I'm quite frankly a little bit pissed off right now. I'm a little bit tired of the rhetoric at this point, but I got to bring it up because it's significant, is what we're getting out of North Korea and Kim Jong-un. Again, this isn't propaganda being pitched by North Korea. This is propaganda being pitched by the United States federal government and the CIA. The question is why? In my opinion, this is being used for a larger smoke screen. The attention is being pushed over to North Korea so that the American people ignore what's happening in the Middle East, what's happening in Syria, Iran, what's happening in Cyprus, and what's ultimately happening with the economic collapse here in the United States of America. Of course, this is all leading up to civil war. I've reported on several stories, and there's many stories out today, actually, that dozens of states now, not just Texas, are requesting gold on hand 
and gold as legal tender to back their currency state to state. So this is only growing the aggression and the potential violence, which of course none of us, including myself, want to see, is growing. You know, look, look at things like Sandy Hook, for example. Look at the Batman massacre, all these killers on psychotropic drugs. People say it's a conspiracy theory that President Barack Obama now just happens to be going after the guns. How is that a conspiracy theory? When these events happen and then the president on a dime decides to destroy the Second Amendment and be the largest anti-constitutional proponent in the history of the presidency. How is that a conspiracy theory? You see, to me, actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. So when Vice President Joe Biden comes on camera, gives a speech in Washington, drops the term New World Order, NWO, it raises an eyebrow. When the President of the United States uses as a scapegoat Sandy Hook and these types of tragic events to shit all over the Second Amendment and destroy the U.S. Constitution, that is not some kind of crazy crackpot theory. It's not a conspiracy. It's just what's happening. Again, it's a fact. Actions speak louder than words. So very unnerving and very interesting seeing Joe Biden use that specific term. And I can't help but get a rise internally and, and feel this even a bit emotionally, although I try not to get emotional in terms of understanding and digesting what's happening around me in terms of the news. But I have this, this feeling, this perverse feeling in my gut that says something big is coming to the United States. Some kind of false flag terror seems likely in the not too distant future. All I know is that this government the United States, President Barack Obama, New World Order Joe Biden want war. They desperately need war. And they need it as a backdrop and a smokescreen for the largest financial collapse in the history of mankind. What's taking place in real life here in the United States and all around the world, all across Europe, places like Cyprus right now. War is on the docket. Just like we lived through World War I, World War II, Vietnam, the Korean War, the next great war, my friends, is upon us. I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television, and I just delivered the Daily Wave. Hard hitting and in your face. And if you like this video, please share it everywhere. Embed it on popular websites. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and get it out to the viewing public. And please don't forget to support our sponsor below. Click that link. Peace.